the refugees were determined to get across the border. But the Macedonian police were determined to stop them, using tear gas and stun grenades. Some welcome to Europe. Some were injured. Macedonia has declared a state of emergency as up to 2,000 more desperate people arrive every day. 3,000 were massed on the border this morning. The majority come from Syria, crossing into Turkey by different routes, then onto the Greek islands, to the Greek port of Thessaloniki, over the border at Idomeni to Macedonia, from where they go to Serbia, then Hungary, the first EU country, hoping to reach northern Europe, a 3,000-kilometre journey. There's more on the way. At dawn this morning, a dinghy of 30 Syrians landed on the Greek island of Kos. At least they had life jackets, even the babies. They thanked God for their safe arrival. But they're not even halfway through their journey, and war has taken its toll. I'm going to Europe to receive medicine because I need kind kidney, kidney, because I lost one, one of them in the war, in the Syria. Others are just hoping the next generation can grow up somewhere safe. The journey through Greece takes stamina. They bring with them nothing but hope unaware as yet may be how harsh Europe will be, how little sympathy they'll find. It's very cold, it's more than what we expected, and it's really freezing, and uh, we thought that we crossed yesterday because, uh, I don't know, usually in Macedonia they don't have problem about crossing for Syrians, but today that's what happened. A few makeshift camps have sprung up, but how is Greece? virtually bankrupt, deep in debt, supposed to cope with this influx. There are hundreds of vulnerable persons, children, babies, other persons with, with, with extreme vulnerabilities, including medical needs. Most of them, if not all of them, stay rough in the open air. Too many to hold back. Today, eventually, Macedonia relented and let some refugees across the border. They pushed and jostled and argued with the guards. No system, it seems, no order, just each for himself and his family. Those who crossed walked up the train tracks to the station. 42,000 have passed this way in the last two months to a Europe that doesn't want them. Now I want to buy train to the order of Serbia and next go to Serbia and Hungary and next Germany or Autriche, be it there. Maybe it's better to be too young to understand the horror you've fled, the hostility you're about to face. And as you can see, that is a live shot of the Greek-Macedonian border. A lot of people there who would normally not be there. It is complete mayhem and chaos with more and more people arriving every minute virtually. And we're hoping to come back to that position later in the programme with a live interview with a member of the Red Cross. Now then.